So the Light of Life was one of the first projects we ever did, even before the name Goal Zero happened, actually. We realized one of the biggest needs, in particular in Africa, was light. Once the sun went down, pretty much everything stopped. That's how the LAL was born. And it's a great product. We've been using it for years and people love it. Using it so much and having so many people out in the field using it helped us see that, wow, this can be made even better. So the first thing we talked about was size. We, we came up with a plan of making something as compact as possible, but could still be expanded to give you the same uh, shade, the, the diffused light, so it's not blinding you when it's, when it's hanging. And this serves a lot of purposes. It lets you store this compact. You can store a lot more in the same space. We always ask, what else can we do? So we decided, well, let's use the product itself to be cord management. And we use this, this shape here as a, as a spindle. So now you can wrap this cord around there to the exact length that you need. The cord runs up through this gap, comes around a hook, and now you have cord management. We actually went to a single uh, LED module, but it does spread pretty much 180 degrees in this mode, just out everywhere. We poured over every detail of this surface. Um, since the light is gonna be spread out of this surface right here, we wanna make it absolutely perfect. That makes a difference so that when you're seeing the actual beam of light, you don't see these little flaws or imperfections in the spot that comes down. On low, you're gonna get about 120 hours off of the Yeti 150, and on high, you're gonna get about 50 hours of light. One of the things we noticed on our uh, first version, LAL, was guys were taking these things up, you know, Everest and into these pretty extreme environments. So even down to the level of the jacket on the cord, we've looked at what material will be able to handle the hot and the cold and still stay, stay pliable and not crack. All those little details, you just have to work through every one of them to get it right. So. I think where this really thrives is at the campsite. Whether you're car camping or you're backpacking, it's small enough to toss in a backpack, it's rugged enough to handle that kind of trip, it's rugged enough to be tossed in the back of your, of your SUV and drive out to the middle of nowhere and, and, and hang them up there. There's so many ways to attach it. It's so versatile in that way.